So this is the home of um, Tony the Toad. This is the environment that I really give him. And now we're going to be taking Tony the Toad and taking him out of his um, cage. Jesus. These fixtures are really heavy. These fluorescent fixtures are actually very heavy. So bear with me. Uh, find him. There we go. This is Tony the Toad. This is Tony. He is a toad that I actually caught about five months ago and on North Plain Farm. He was injured by a snake. He had lacerations to his back. He was being eaten by a snake. I nursed him back to health. He's a, she, actually, she and is a female toad. I call her Tony by accident, but her name is Tony. This is Tony the Toad. Can you say hello to everybody, Tony? And I don't know how, how old she really is, but we guess that they will um, probably live about 35 years in captivity. This is the environment. i got to be very careful. i got to supervise Tony at all times. I always like to... Um, uh, I always like to take my toads and give them time outside of the cage. It's very important that they have more to life than the um, um, cage. This is the cage where I really house Tony here, fluorescent lighting. It's a big world out there, Tony. Obviously, you know, I want Tony to have some time out of the cage. I don't have diaper. Can you tell everybody how you feel about this, Tony? Tony is a female toad, and she's um, doubled in size. So, just to give you an idea how big Tony really is, Tony the toad. And she's about about the size of my hand right now. She's getting to be big, you know. She's going to be a very big toad. Having a toad, though, an amphibian like this is a lifelong commitment. I mean, they can live literally in proper care in a nice cage like this. They can live about 35 to 40 years in, in captivity. So, you know, obviously it's winter time. It's too cold, so I won't let Tony go outside. Tanya, I should give her the name Tanya. But anyway, I like to let Tony explore the great outdoors. Time outside of the cage is so important for these animals. They need time to exercise properly. How you feel on Tony? How do you like your freedom? My camera, how do you like your freedom, Tony? Can you say hello to everybody on Facebook? Can you say hello to my friends? I actually took... um. Tony, my female toad in my care about five months ago, back in the first week of August when she was being eaten by a snake, and um, on her back, on her back, there was a really deep laceration, and it's healed, obviously. I also want her to explore the um, terrain of the apartment, so one of the things I like to do is show you Right now it's winter time outside and it'll be too cold for Tony to explore the snow. I won't subject her to that. But I will let her, you know, have some playtime. It's a big world out there, Tony. I just want Tony to get a sense of what it's like to um, kind of walk around outside of that 40-gallon tank. What's Tony going to do? What's Tony going to do when she has freedom? Where will she go? What will she do? How will she react to her environment? <laughs> it's very important these toads have time to explore and do other things. There's Tony.
we don't want things to be too overwhelming for Tony. There we go. There you go, Tony. There's a good. And it's an exercise, Tony. There we go. Look at that shit. There she goes, exercising in the apartment. I love to take Tony out of the cage and just let her walk around for a little while. This is a short video because I'm running out of time on my iPhone, but usually for an hour a day I let Tony go on supervised playtime. I like to let Tony hop around, and for about an hour a day I let Tony just kind of hop around, get some exercise. There you go, Tony. There you go. You want to see the bathroom, Tony? Uh-oh. Tony wants to see the bathroom. This is my bathroom. There we go. Tony gets to see the bathroom. Tony gets to explore the big world. The big bathroom. The great outdoors. The linens. That's okay, Tony. How are you feeling, Tony? Is it kind of overwhelming for you? But it's so important that my animals get to see what is more to life than a cage. I know, Tony. There she is. You want help going back to where you felt more comfortable? There you go, Tony. There you go, there's Tony. There you go, Tony. There's Tony. She's just... They, toes actually walk. They don't just hop. There she is, going towards my weight set. So important. Aerobic exercise is so important to keep my toes in shape. There you go. There you go, Tony. It's Tony the Toad. How do you feel about that, Tony? It's my Olympic weights, and I bet you were a weightlifter in your past life. Well, I think Tony's enjoying her freedom. Short video, like I said. Normally, my playtime is a lot longer. But now, we're going to let Tony explore the bed once again. There it is. There's Tony enjoying this beautiful bed. Beautiful lens from Marshalls. I, if I have a girlfriend, my girlfriend's just going to have to get used to the fact that I like my toad to be in my bed. There you go, Tony. Actually, toads have a personality. Toads have feelings. And Tony, how do you feel about life right now, Tony? You see, he has a very, very distinct personality. It's like Tony is saying, you know, this is who I am. I want my freedom. Look, we all want a freedom. And the best part is Tony's not wearing a face mask right now. No mask wearing in my apartment. Just total freedom. Look at him. He's breathing. He's healthy. And with proper care, my pet Toad could live another 30 years. How do you feel about that, Tony? Another 30 years in my, 30 years in my cage. There he is. The same one. I know, you're getting bored, huh? You want to go back to your cage? You want to go back home, Tony? Here we go. So now we're going to put Tony back in his cage where he belongs. And now we're going to put Tony right back. There he is, right back in his natural environment, the beautiful cage I gave him with my fluorescent ultraviolet lighting and these beautiful plants. Posi taking care of my amphibians is positive energy. Healing energy, taking care of my animals. And of course, my ferrets. My, my ferrets are sleeping too. My animals, my ferrets. So my taking care of my ferrets, my pet ferrets here, and my animals. Positive healing energy, much better than the coronavirus. Much better than politics. Taking care of my animals and my pets is healing energy. Real things. Real stuff. It really makes the world a better place. Thank you for watching.